With the heartbreaking stories coming out of Las Vegas and going right to your computer or phone, were you distracted at work and overwhelmed with sadness? We wondered how much is too much consumption of this tragedy? CBS 2's Jim Williams talked to the experts. Every screen has got this story on it. On news websites, social media, television. The shots just kept coming. And for many of us, the massacre in Las Vegas took a toll in our homes and at work. People have felt numb today, you know, walking around work and feeling like they can't focus and they can't, can't concentrate. We often think as good citizens we need to learn as much as we can. But Dr. Sheila Raja, a UIC professor and psychologist, says we can give ourselves permission to turn off the TV or shut off the smartphone. At some point, you know when enough is enough, so you don't have to consume every single image to know what you need to do tomorrow. Dr. Chip Donahue of the Erickson Institute warns we have to be especially careful consuming such news in the presence of children. I worry a lot about background TV at home where the TV's just on um, because, in a way, that's the secondhand smoke of the digital age. Young children are very good at reading the, the feelings and emotions of their parents. So if I'm concerned and upset and fearful, then my child is picking up on that as well. An antidote for our despair? Long term, we can't zone out. We have to address the issue and come back together and try to solve this problem. Dr. Donahue of the Erickson Institute says right after the 9-11 attacks, three and four-year-old children saw a thousand planes hitting a thousand buildings. They were too young to understand the concept of video replays. Rob and Erica, it shows you how delicate all of this is. Yes, you know, and children, like they were saying, sense something. Even if they don't see it, they can feel it in their parents and those that are around them. That's why we have to be very careful around We, we didn't tell our son about it this morning, and yes. after school he said, I wish you'd told me about it because I went to school and everybody was talking about it. And everybody was it. talking about it. So That shows you the balance that we have yeah. to try to it, find, it's right? It's a tough one as parents. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks.